Hello everyone. In this uh, brief uh, presentation, I will uh, introduce assignment 1 uh, for the course uh, 2DV604. So in this presentation, I will uh, briefly introduce about the assignment and uh, some protocols or rules that you need to follow. The assignment 1 will be based on uh, the theme 1. Uh, that is introduction to software architecture that you are studying now and for this assignment you will be uh, presented a case study on gymnastics league management system and you need to read through the case study try to understand it and uh, visualize uh, as you understand uh, or based on your understanding how you can design such systems uh, using various components and uh, how you can actually deploy these systems uh, in, in practice. So you will be working on uh, design, design decisions, uh, various views and also uh, different perspective or, or in other words concerns uh, based on which you will uh, design your system. There will be two tasks for this assignment. The first task will be to create a conceptual first level decomposition and assign various functionalities to those, uh, to those decomposed components. You can use uh, for this uh, component diagram uh, for, uh, from UML diagrams. But you have to limit yourself to two pages maximum. So one page you can use for the figures and one page for the description of those figures or your component diagram in this word in this case for example. For the task 2 you have to also create a first level decomposition of the physical system and for this you can use uh, deployment diagrams and in this case you also need to limit yourself to two pages. So one page for the figures and one page for the description. So given this assignment task, there are some rules that you need to follow so that you can uh, uh, present your uh, assignment uh, precisely and on time. One thing I want to mention also, you don't need to discuss any implementation technologies at this point. Uh, just focus on views and uh, architectural uh, design decisions and create your uh, uh, models. The case study that we uh, presented uh, for gymnastics leak management system, uh, this is just an example. Uh, don't limit yourself to that case study. Uh, based on this case study, uh, you can of course extend your ideas and uh, in terms of uh, functionality, in terms of services and so on and there is uh, freedom uh, for you to think uh, beyond uh, this, ca this case study. You might have uh, multiple uh, decompositions let's say but for your assignment you have to only present one so if you have or if you think of multiple decompositions pick one and motivate in the, in the description uh, why you picked that one. There is a checklist available on my model uh, for, for this assignment in the PDF that we published. So before the submission, check the checklist. Uh, make sure that all the points that we mentioned are covered. It is also important to mention that assignment 1 is individual. So no one can share their reports with their PR students. Uh, you cannot discuss with your ideas and so on try to focus as an individual architect as much as possible. Be aware of plagiarism. Uh, plagiarism of any kind or at any level will not be accepted at all. If there are uh, evidence that uh, your report was written uh, based on the materials hired from uh, online or borrowed from your friends and so on, 
uh, your report will not get any grades. In other words, your report will get a grade of F and we will uh, make further uh, investigations through the University Disciplinary Committee. So be aware of plagiarism, no copy paste, full stop. Try to submit early, although there is a deadline, but if you submit um, earlier than the deadline, you always have the opportunity to improve. And in case if you miss the deadline, uh, there will be 50% uh, points that will be penalized uh, based on what grades you receive. So if you, let's say, have a minimum viable uh, report and you got uh, a pass based on minimum considerations, submitting it uh, late might make you fail because you already missed the deadline. And if you miss the deadline, make sure your, your report is very, very, very good quality. But in a, in a obvious situation, in an ideal situation, this should not happen. So try to submit early and then try to improve on this rather than being late, which we don't suggest at all. The assignment one have either pass or fail. So there is either E or F. Uh, there is no in, in between grades, uh, but other assignments might have uh, uh, different criteria or different grades, but uh, either you make a good, good assignment, good report or you don't. So there is either pass or fail for this assignment. Thank you.